Hi, I'm Phyllis from iSoul and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm making a dog cover for the sofa. Or you can make them for a chair or any of your favorite, wherever your fa favorite spot is for your dog to lie. So I have been, I make them this, as close to the color of the sofa as possible. And this, this was, this color I, this I used for a chocolate brown leather one. And it really looks nice on it. It just has a little dot, but it seems to blend right in to the cover of the sofa. Now what I start with two pieces of fabric, the size I want. If it's a chair, I'll, it'll probably be 25 inches. Or if it's a sofa, I mean a love seat, it'll probably be 45. If it's a full sofa, it may be 72 or 80. But what I do is I cut two pieces the same length. Now, I, you wouldn't have to have them both the same. You could use a different fabric on the back as it, on the front. Uh, and then I cut a piece of fleece. The batting don't seem to hold it firm enough, and they want to bunch up when you go to when the dog gets on them. But this seems to hold them flatter. So the fleece gives you a nice piece. So you make your sandwich out of the length and the width you want. And then I quilted it down the center, got the center line down the center, and then worked out from each side and then I put a binding around it and this is one that I have made for a light colored sofa and I use some drapery material it's quite washable and uh, it's been around for quite a while and because uh, I had made drapes out of it years ago so I thought this would make a nice fabric and then for the back I used for the back I used this waffle fabric and I found I think it will hold onto the couch and won't slip and then I quilted in Quilted it in lines all the way down. This one is about 75 inches long. And I bound it. So I think it should work well. Um, I have a couple little places I have to take a few tucks out of the binding yet. Other than that, I have it all pretty much all finished, and uh, so it's been fun putting it together. I found with the batting, when the dog got on it and laid down, it would bunch up too much. So that's why I went with the firmer fabrics and more quilting on it. So be sure and subscribe, touch the bell to be notified, uh, leave me a comment, tell me how I'm doing, um, touch the bell, like, or touch the like button, give me a thumbs up, or share it. If you have a friend that you go to her place and you come home with dog hairs, maybe make her one. 
so that you, when you go, she can remove it, roll it up and set it away while you're there and you won't go home with so much of your dog hair. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye now.